Hey everybody, welcome back to the Good View Woodworks channel. My name is Nathan, and in this video, we are going over part three of the Black River Table build. And so far, we've gotten the slab back from, back from the guys who milled it down. But in this video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start by truing up the, the edges with the circular saw, trimming these, and then we're gonna go ahead and sand the surface of this and get it prepped for finish. Just so you guys know, I have my respiratory protection and we'll be sanding this to a 150 grit and we'll be using a Rubio mono coat. Check the shirt, Rubio mono coat. We'll be using Rubio mono coat for the final finish of this and you only need to sand it to 150 grit for that finish. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, so now that we have the table rough cut to size, well, actually it's final cut to size, it's time to start sanding. So we're gonna start out with 80 grit, and then we're gonna go to 120 and then 150. 150 will be the final grit. Uh, that's what Rubio Mono Coat, that's what they recommend is 150, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's get to sanding. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I'll get right back to you. I know you've seen somebody sand a million times. Here we go. All righty then, we are back in the shop. We have finished sanding the conference table. What we did was we've sanded from 80 grit to 120, then to 150. You can see, fully sanded. Looking really nice. Guys, I want to tell you about Starbond really quick. I'm going to put a link down in the description so you guys can get a, a discount on it. But anytime that I'm um, finishing and sanding my epoxy and I come across a little pinhole, what I do is I put some Starbond thick CA glue in the hole and then spray it with the activator so it dries immediately. That way I can continue sanding and finish the thing faster. Works out really, really nicely. And this is the Starbond Thick CA glue. So it, it comes in a few different, it comes in thin, medium, and thick. I use the thick when filling in little gaps. So guys, check the link in the description and go check it out. All right. So the next step here is to clean off the surface and get ready to put on some Rubio Mono Coat. This stuff is awesome. I'm so excited. I've already finished the bottom, but I didn't want to show you yet. Um, I wanted to test it out for myself, and it is super nice. Um, I'm going to give a bit major plug to Rubio Mono Coat. You can see, rocking the shirt, rocking the hat. Um, so, guys, this is my favorite finish so far. It works really well, super easy to use. I'm going to show you step by step how to use it. Okay? All righty. All right, so first things first. We're gonna go ahead and clean off our slab, get all the dust and everything off with this Rubio Mono Coat Raw Wood Cleaner. 
and um, they recommend that you use this. I'm not sure if you can use other things like uh, alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, or anything like that, but I've used this, works really well, works really well, and it preps the wood before you put on the Rubio Mono Coat. I'll leave a link down in the description for all the materials and things that I use so you guys can click it and get it. All right, so we're gonna get a cotton rag and wipe this stuff on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let this dry, um, which takes about a half hour, depending on uh, how warm it is and how much you actually put on the wood. But we'll let this dry and we'll come back and we'll start putting that finish on. All right, everybody, it's the time that we've been waiting for. We're gonna put some finish on this table and get this thing done. So exciting. This is the most satisfying part of the project and I'm really excited to get it started, so. Let's get to it. All right, we have we got the Rubio Mono Coat Oil Plus 2C, and it's the pure. What the all that means is it's natural finish, just clear. So we got the oil, and we've got the hardener right here, and <clears throat> it is a three to one mix ratio. So three parts oil, one part hardener. And this, guys, this does not take very much to cover this entire slab. We're only going to do about 28 to 30 ounces for this whole top side and sides. All right? So we've got a couple of syringes here. And we're going we're gonna to use those to measure out the three parts of the oil and the one part of the hardener. So I said earlier 28 ounces. It's only going to be a 28 milliliters. All right, dude. It's 10, 20, and 21. And then we'll do seven. So it's five, seven of the hardener. All right. Go ahead and get this mixed up.
All right, guys, we're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes and we're gonna come back and buff it off with a rag, okay? It's looking so pretty, don't you think so? I do. All right, guys, so we have taken, it's been about 15 minutes and now it's time to just go over it with a rag and kind of buff the surface and we are done. Alright guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if this is your first time here, consider subscribing. Click that subscribe, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything when I post it. Guys, this is one of my favorite tables so far. It is so pretty. The black walnut with the black resin really goes together. Very, very pretty. Very beautiful. So guys, on the next one, on the next video, we will be delivering this bad boy. We'll put the legs on it so you'll be able to see exactly how we do that. But guys, as far as this one goes, this project has been a success. Very, very awesome project. One of my favorites to date. And guys, as always, thanks for hanging out with us.